Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know I was going to pop on the screen with that face. Welcome, welcome, Uncensored and Enlightenment Talk family. And you're here with your host, Grace Levi. And yes, 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 you're here with Miss Sassy, Graceful, Beautiful, and Spicy. And we're going to have now, a great moving time. forward. Let's get into Miss Witchy, 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 Witchy. And we're not even talking about Rihanna yet. I have been working on this documentary and I'm putting it together, y'all. Yes, slowly but surely, because this life of this Witchy, 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 Witchy is very complicated. Her and her hubby, hubby, hubby is ridiculously complicated. And I just have to do my research. So there's so many people involved in this Beyonce, Jay-Z, witchy, witchy thing, Illuminati thing that I'm literally getting interviews from all over the place. I'm going from Beanie Siegel to Biggs to Dave Dash to Rachel Ray. There's a lot of people involved in this. A lot of Craig Mack. I'm going to bring everybody. So the documentary probably be considered the three hours probably broke into three parts, but I'm I'm at definitely gonna start recording this weekend and hopefully I can release one of the parts because I got a good amount of information. So I so we could get a total big picture of uh Miss B, alleged witchy witchy, and her husband, alleged the warlock. Now let's listen to this because we got a pastor. That ain't, ain't here to play, here to slay. And I don't care if you ain't Christian or whatever you is. People got things to say. Stop looking at their religion and looking at when they say Jesus or the Bible. Y'all go for them running all. Oh, she said the Bible. She's religious. Stop being a damn heathen. Stop being a heathen. The Bible is one of the oldest books on this planet. And that's the only one that's going to lead you to your freedom. If you don't know, then you just don't fucking know. I don't care. But... When we talk about the Bible, we talk about things. Stop saying it's religion, okay? We Hebrews here. We talk about spirituality. We talk about the Bible, the Psalms. The Psalms have magic in it, but y'all don't know about what y'all call magic. It's God. We ain't gonna talk about that. Now, oh my God, Pastor goes off on Christine, Christian, sorry, for wanting to go to Beyonce's Renaissance tour. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I don't care what pastor you got that is okay with it. I don't care what pastor you got that think it's cool. I don't care what pastor you got that's singing along to they song. Cause they, cause they, you want some clout? Clout. Why you think that man call himself Jehovah? It was short for Jehovah. Jesus. It's like Kanye trying to, to reincarnate. When a witch has a coven, it's normally a small thing. Witches' covens are normally three to seven people. When it becomes thousands, it's called a hive. Y'all are part of that lady beehive? And you call yourself a Christian? Make the dealings of the Lord come upon you. You think this is small stuff. You think you're not going to that lady's concert is not an initiation. You think you're not going to that concert is not a ritual. You think you're not going to concert. Mm. It's not a gate. Not a gateway. That entire concert is a gate. Uh, be judged. How dare you? Oh, yes, I'm a Christian. It ain't about being Christian. She you in out. the name of she Jesus. How dare you call everybody? It ain't like I said, forget the word Christian. Just understand good and evil. And if she talking about portals of darkness, 
do you remember do you remember the last uh uh oh look wait wait till we show you the documentary i know they probably gonna be having some of these images copywritten i'm gonna pray that they don't you know i can get as many images but i'm gonna tell you she be having the witchy 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 going on up in her sh yo even the grammys with the guy with the big ass bubble suit and the red he like his oh the new saint uh what is it satan worship and on uh on the grammys this is what you see on the headlines it's okay it's okay now it's okay right miss witchy witchy so that was just just to give y'all a sneak peek that we ain't the only ones that's keeping our eye on miss witchy witchy we know what's going on allegedly got the beehive under the swarm got the beehive swarming around people attacking people when she can't say nothing but a lot of celebrity have their actual um followers like this and this is what i want to tell you because this channel this is going to be the highest paid channel on youtube because youtube owe me best believe i already claimed it youtube owe me but with that goes to say i don't need that type of stuff i don't need no beehive no whatever y'all are family the people here should have be able to critically think to say oh no that ain't right oh yeah that's right Oh, no, you need to take a half glass and shut the hell up. Listen, I'm Haitian. I don't mind. I'm Haitian and Bayesian. We wrong. Say what you say, but make sure it's out of love because we can feel the spirit over here. Now, that's the difference. So I don't want no one following this, this page thinking that you have to idolize me. I know I'm beautiful. But I'm not like that, okay? I'm really down to earth. I don't like that. And I'm just letting y'all know that is not copacetic. That is not of God. You are not to idolize no one that you see on the screen. Even though I want millions of people to watch me. I want y'all to watch. Yeah, because we got some shit to talk about. We got a different perspective over here. But it's not to control or to make you, oh my God, don't talk about her. I'm going to kill you. I want y'all to have my back. But that's some bullshit. Not like that. Not the way these people act. Stalking people, allegedly setting people cars on fire. <laughs> yeah, I watch all of that. I haven't followed up on the Jaguar right thing. It's it's a lot. See, with me, I'm going to follow up when it gets to the climax because all this boop, 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 video, 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 video. I don't have time to be making a million videos. Y'all gonna see? I'm gonna make two major videos a week. We're going to chop that bitch up. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to keep it moving because we all got a life. And then y'all going to watch me on my other channels and get this work, get this knowledge about real estate. All right. And all this rest of this knowledge that I'm sharing on my other channels, they're a little bit more professional. So I hope you guys go over there and get the what people call corny stuff. But with that goes to say, don't ever idolize Grace Levi. I don't like that. I want ride or die. I want real because where I'm from in Haiti, people tell, oh, no. That's no, that's not right. You wrong. And I'll be like, no, you wrong. And then we go back and forth. I'm like, damn, I was wrong. All right, I was wrong. <laughs> See, that's real. Okay. All right. So let's get into Miss Riri, Miss Witchy 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 number two, allegedly. Now, now I don't hear much talk about Rihanna being uh, a witch, per se. I hear the, the talks that they used to say that she was part of the Illuminati around the time when her and Jay-Z was doing all those videos in like the late 90s. They were all in this black gothic and people started getting on them like really wasn't liking that because we wasn't beat in the 90s. That's why they shut y'all up because we were shutting shit down. Like when they came on the stage and Jay-Z and them was all um with the cars and the fires in the video, you know what I'm talking about? And they was like, yo, and red, all that. We was like, Illuminati, da da da. We was just saying shit. Everybody was just like, nah, they so they so. That's where a lot of the talk came from because we were able to talk and they stopped. Your people, they slowed down and more things got uh, subliminal. But look at this. Now they're saying that Rihanna's accused of worshiping the devil during her bowl halftime show. Now, here you go. Now, yeah, these things like this, I, I let's just read it. Shit, let's really make some damn comments. I'm making comments before I read it. Let me read the shit. 
Okay, paying homage to her Instagram username, Rihanna has been accused of being a bad guy for apparently worshiping the devil during her epic 2023 Super Bowl halftime show. The Barbadian bombshell, whoop, 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 Benjamin, that don't mean that she living right. Just because she Barbadian, I ain't saying that she living right. We just from the same nation. There is some messed up Hebrews out there, but I'm just saying. So the Barbadian bombshell kicked off her live performance, suspending high above the Amazon, um, Arizona Stadium on Sunday, February 12th, while wearing a deep red jumpsuit with an arm, uh, army of dancers dressed with white below her. So the 34-year-old who is in a relationship with ASAP Rocky, who is displaying her baby bump, which makes her second pregnancy, Nine months after the birth of her son, May on May 22nd. Oh, that's cool. So her baby may be born in October. That's so crazy because my, my I got pregnant when I was like nine, ten months with my daughter. But after I had my son, my son, my son was like nine months old. Yep. And my son was born in October, and my daughter was born in May. That's a weird. Okay, Rihanna. Rihanna bought out all the hits. I mean, there are just so many, but they're all old school. She didn't come out with nothing new. But no disrespect, Rihanna. When I was listening to her, I was like, girl, this was what we was listening to back in the day. When we're going to listen to something new. I'll take it. Let me shut up. I like this song, though. Me better have my money. We found love and umbrella all made the appearance. The Mega 13 minutes set also include. Only girl in the world, rude boy. Oh boy, these are all old ass songs. Despite what many world <laughs> would call an amazing performance, the singer had been accused of worshiping the devil. The devil, devil, devil. Now, what what this did remind me of just a little bit was the CERN ceremony. Have y'all ever seen the CERN ceremony? Okay. We we gonna probably show y'all a little bit of the CERN ceremony compared to this. So go, yeah, like what the hell is CERN, baby? I'm gonna take y'all all around the world over here on uncensored. The shit y'all never knew about, y'all gonna know about. It's gonna make some sense, and y'all gonna be like, oh my god, I'm woke. But y'all gonna be able to handle it because we're gonna give you the heart to be able to handle a lot of the tragedy that's going on too, and it's real. Rihanna bought out all of his. I mean. Stop it. I'm on already. Rihanna bought out all of his. I mean, there are just so many. Okay, we talked about that. Despite so that we know that they see now. Why did they say that? New York Times bestselling author Gabriel tweeted, Why do all the major live performance by woke artists have demonic feelings? Sam Smith, now Rihanna, Holly Weird has gone insane. And ex an expecting Riri fan flooded the reply section with one person writing, does the color red trigger mega? There was nothing satanic about the bat performance. One of more mild performance during the Super Bowl I have seen in a while. If this was woke, you need to go back to sleep. Another added, yeah, this is weird. Satan hasn't even gone on record about his favorite color. <laughs> However, some users did agree with Gabrielle as bro agree, can't watch. They secretly like mega colors. After adding, while someone else said they th try to top each other in the edgy department. Kind of sad and pathetic. So, I mean, I didn't watch the full performance. But I'm going to watch it and see what the hell they talking about. I know she came down. Look at her looking like a witchy, witchy, witch. I mean, I wonder why they do all of that, though. Why do they present themselves like that with all the red and the horns? Like, look. No. no, let me bring up the thing about CERN. Okay, let me see. Will they play? I don't want her to talk. I want it to be mute. Now, look at this. Yes, this look like CERN. Okay, watch it. Watch it, guys. Oh, that's what the fuck they talking about. We gonna watch it. Stay everybody trying to show their stomach too. Just like sir. Look at that.
Look at that. Yep. 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 All right. Oh, now I see what the hell they're talking about. Now I see because people don't know about CERN. All right. So this is what we're about to do. Give me one second. I'm about to pull up. I'm about to pull this up for you guys so you guys can see what the hell they think they talk about. Okay. CERN. Hmm. Certain performance. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. 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 I found it. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm bringing on the screen for you guys. Hold up. Look at this. This is what they're trying to say. Rihanna show. This is why they say it is satanic, because. CERN is allegedly supposed to be opening a portal to darkness into the world. It's a hydrogen collider that's supposed to be breaking the atom apart so it can open the dimensions, allegedly. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Oh, it's some shit going on while you're watching celebrity gossip. And I think they like the celebrities is showing y'all on the other hand. But look at this. I want y'all to watch this. Now, this is an abstract performance of a Switzerland rail. Okay, CERN is the hydrogen collider that is supposed to be harboring all of this energy from different um, generators as transformers to collide an atom together to allegedly bust it open and make what happened when when the first molecule or the first um, atom was created. So they want to recreate the creation of life which would allegedly open a portal to different dimensions. That's what people are saying. Look at this shit. Watch this. This is what they saying. This is what they say. Why not this part? But when you're going to see the dancing and stuff, and they're going to say that they CERN. That that's what... Look, 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 look. It's so weird. Look at this. This is supposed to be science. Why the hell science look like this? This is supposed to be literally... These are their workers. Discern. Ever heard of this? This is what they, I think they're comparing Rihanna um, show to. She didn't have all of that in the back. I know I'm reaching. But I think that's what they're doing because this is how the CERN show was. A lot of people make their shows like this with people dancing around them and shit like that. Look at these people. Crazy ass. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the goat. This is supposed to be science. All right, I'm going to stop it right there because y'all not even ready for that. Y'all like, what the hell did Grace just show us? We don't know what that means. Many uh, don't even realize what's happening exactly. I know y'all like, yeah, yeah, what did she just show us? Yeah, the people who woke. The way she said, all right, you yeah, might as well go back to sleep. And hey, we ain't never going back to sleep. We up. We watching y'all sleep. It's okay. Because when shit hit the fan, we're going to be talking more, more about other shit than just celebrity gossip. But you see, we mixing it up here because we need y'all to be aware. Because celebrity gossip, celebrities have something to do with this madness. They have a lot to do with this madness. Because you are that, you are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you.